everyone. My name's Jenny. I am a holistic childbirth educator and a doula. In my work, I support parents as they follow their own compass in birth and build empowered families and communities. One of the things that I really wanted to talk about today is the issue of stress in pregnancy. So this has become really especially apparent in the past year or so, obviously with all of the different strange things that are happening in our society, living through a world going through a pandemic, all of these things and the normal stresses of our everyday lives, you know, building families, careers, all these different things, societal tension, um, all of these different things create a lot of different factors that can really create a lot of stress in pregnancy. And I see this a lot in the families that I work with. So when you feel stress in pregnancy, and you know this, stress is not just, oh, I'm worried about whatever, right? Stress is a mental, physical, spiritual connection between something happening. So a lot of times we have signs of stress in our bodies, like we have tension, we have headaches, um, you know, you feel exhausted because you're in this adrenaline state constantly. Um, you might feel like stomach digestive issues, um, sleep disturbances, all these different things can cause a lot of effects in your body. So some of the risks of, you know, having a lot of stress in your pregnancy are things like high blood pressure, preterm labor, um, and basically, we know from research, um, excess levels of stress throughout pregnancy basically raises your risk factor for nearly every adverse outcome or complication. It's all somehow connected. And I want you to be able to have tons of choices for your pregnancy and birth. And I want you to have a comfortable, confident and powerful birth experience. And I want to help you um, stay low risk in your pregnancy and have a healthy pregnancy and birth. So we know there are all these risks, you know, physical risks, right? That can create high risk conditions in pregnancy because of having excess stress in your life. And another thing that having lots of excess stress can cause is tension in your body. And when you experience tension in your body, you have a lot more pain in different places. And carrying tension in places like your muscles, your hips, your pelvis, can also create tension in your uterus and your baby cannot move into the best position for birth because there are restrictions and things holding up your uterus and your baby from moving in the ways that they need to be moving optimally for a better birth experience. So when you feel that anxiety and fear and stress, it creates tension, right? Tension can make your body function in ways that are not optimal. And you then can ultimately experience more pain in your birth experience. They call this the fear tension pain cycle. So when you are feeling fear and stress, right? It creates tension and tension creates more pain because your body is working against itself. Um, in hol the holistic birth model that I talk a lot about, we know that when we feel stressed, we have a lot of adrenaline in our body. And birth is ruled by oxytocin. And adrenaline blocks oxytocin. So we gotta get you out of the stress state and the adrenaline, that overdrive, worry, fear, tension, pain state we need to bring that down so that oxytocin can increase. And oxytocin is the love hormone, right? That's what, um, you know, you feel that after a really pleasurable experience, after sex, um, you know, anything pleasurable, nurturing, calming, comforting, all of those things raise your oxytocin and decreases your adrenaline. And that's the birth space. That's where we want you to be at. And, you know, oxytocin uh, creates stronger labor contractions, can help bring on labor. 
um, improves the regular flow of labor, lets all of your functions and physiology flow as they are meant to flow. Um, so when you have stress, right, you're setting yourself up for all of these possible complications. So it's really important to be mindful of your level of stress in your pregnancy. So there are several different things that you can do. Um, we know that things like meditation, breathing techniques, and I actually feel like it's not just the, you know, knowing how to breathe and birth, right? I'm not a Zen doula necessarily, right? But the act of taking that time to yourself, making special time for you that is nurturing and calming, becoming aware of your breathing, being aware of the sensations in your body, and taking time to connect with yourself and your baby, that little piece every day. If you can set aside five to 10 minutes for yourself daily in your ritual for self-care, this could be in the morning, it could be when your older child naps, it could be before you go to bed, whatever that is for you. If you can create that nurturing, calming ritual for yourself, five to 10 minutes, become aware of your breathing. Sit, focus on what you're really feeling in your body. Do your best to push out the other thoughts during this time. I know that that can be really difficult. So let's practice this for a second. So I want you to put one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. I want you to take a deep breath, low into your belly for you and your baby. Circle your baby with your breath. Into your chest, into your throat. Hold it and let it go. Out through your mouth, through your chest, down through your belly. Circle your baby with love and inhale peace and exhale tension. If you can get yourself to do this for five to 10 minutes a day, I'm willing to bet that you will be able to find decreased stress levels, you're less tense, you're showing up as a better version of you in the world, right? So I want you to really think about this Take time for yourself to connect with your body, with your mind, body, spirit connection, your baby. You know, listen to your baby. Ask yourself, what is your baby saying to you? What are they asking for? They are an important part of this birth experience also. It's not just your body, right? Um, your baby is a spiritual being that is communicating with you all the time. So yeah, definitely be mindful of your stress. Try out this strategy for yourself. Um, yeah, see what that can do for you and see how you feel. Let me know. Um, also, I have a Facebook group called Follow Your Compass, or actually, that's not right. Follow Your Own Compass. And it's a place where we all get together and we find connection. We talk about pregnancy and birth. Um, you'll find tons and tons of resources. You'll learn more about how we can work together to help you have a confident, powerful, and the best birth experience ever. So I want you to go ahead and check out the Facebook group, Follow Your Own Compass. I'll link it here. And I want you to also check out my holistic birth course. So I have a, an online self-paced holistic birth course. Um, it's called the Ultimate Holistic Birth Course. I'll link it here. And it teaches you everything you need to know to have a confident, comfortable, and powerful birth experience. Thanks for listening, everybody. Have a great day.